Hey from Mike Strong here. In this video, we're going to teach you how to do a radial tilt shift inside of Premiere Pro. If you used Instagram before, you might know the two different kind of tilt shift, the radial and the linear one. And the difference is that with the radial one, you are making more of a circle and with the linear one, you have like a straight line happening. The main thing is uh, to apply it on like certain kind of scenes. So here we have a shot that really like would work perfectly for it because we kind of see a circle around the person and uh, also we have a lot of overlapping branches and all kinds of things happening and if you would use like a linear tilt shift it wouldn't work that great on here and using a circular one around the person itself it would be much more perfect so let's start so we are going to first duplicate this clip hold down alt and drag this clip up one layer and now we go to effect we're going to type in GAU and get the Gaussian blur and drag this to the top clip. And we are going to search for another effect, which is circle. So we're going to type in circle and drag this onto the clip. And we're going to effects control, go all the way down. So at Gaussian blur, we're going to add 15 to blurriness, which I feel is enough. So because we have the circle applied, we don't see that blurriness happening, but we are going to the circle here and we're going to all the way down and change this blending mode to stencil alpha and also change to invert circle. So now we can see this small circle here is in focus and the rest is out of focus. And we're going to change the radius to 1000 uh, and actually this can be different if uh, depending on your resolution but uh, for me here I can use 1000 to make a quite big circle and we'll go to feather and also I'll make this 1000 and actually maybe instead of 1000 make this 500 and we're going to the center here now we can see this small blue circle. We can drag this to the subject. So now that we have added the effect, we can see that the timeline has become red. This is quite a heavy effect to uh, live preview. So we want to actually pre-render this. So hit enter on your keyboard to preview render. So here we see the results. We can see that the person here is nice in focus with like the some trees on the side being less overly in focus so your attention is more drawn to the person than the rest of the scene so this effect really helps you to draw your attention to a very specific place however of course you can play around with all the settings uh, parameters uh, you might want to even have it more out of focus or like have it um, like more things in focus or even less things in focus so play around and try it out in your next video so hope you guys found this a very useful video and please give me a thumbs up for that. And if you are new to this channel and want to see more upcoming videos, please hit that subscribe button here below and also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated.